in the granite chief range of the Sierra Nevada mountains lies North Star Ski Resort. This epic pass resort puts families front and center and caters to beginner and intermediate level riders. Most of North Star is on the extinct volcano of Mount Pluto. Long ago, it erupted to create a dam and form what is now the year-round adventure playground of Lake Tahoe. Winters bring 350 inches of annual average snowfall, and North Star boasts the largest snowmaking in the area. It can blanket half of the 100 runs with man-made snow and keep the train parks a highlight of the resort in perfect condition. Hi, we're Jeff and Jennifer with Snowboard Traveler, and we're at North Star Resort in California. Sunny California. The closest town to North Star is the vibrant adventure village of Truckee, and the north shore of Lake Tahoe is also 15 minutes away. North Star is an hour drive from Reno Tahoe Airport, two hours from Sacramento, or over three hours drive from the Bay Area. We recommend arriving early to North Star, at least an hour before the gondola starts spinning. The free parking lots are a shuttle bus right away and become crowded quickly. Arriving early helps you get ahead of the lines before you get to the village. Welcome to North Star, it's going to have a high temperature of 47 degrees, so make sure you wear some sunscreen. North Star officially has 3,170 acres, but it rides about half that size without recent snowfall. There are two lifts from the village to the mid-mountain base area, and the mountain has four easy-to-find sections. The massive terrain park is the star of North Star, with a dedicated lift. The front face of Mount Pluto is best in the morning, then once the sun softens the snow, the backside improves. From there you can venture to Lookout Mountain if the snow conditions allow. The parking shuttle buses drop you off at the North Star Village. Here, there are shops, restaurants, condos, the ticket office, and ski school, with the ice skating rink at the center. From the village, hop on the Big Springs Express Gondola, or the Village Express Quad, to the Mid-Mountain Base Area. This area has the Lodge Food Court, the Big Cheesy Food Truck, outside fire pits, and the only Burton Snowboard Academy in the world. Where North Star shines is the Terrain Park. Actually, there are eight separate freestyle areas, six have smaller features, one medium area, one large, and the half pipe. The Vista Express quad chair serves the terrain park area for easy laps. The progression jumps are well designed and very helpful for beginners practicing their freestyle skills. The medium park has several progression jumps and rails where riders can level up and practice for the large features. At the bottom is the half pipe. It's well maintained and fun to practice on, but it can unfortunately be quite crowded. At the base, the Big Easy and Aero Express lifts whisk beginners around the easy terrain. Intermediate riders should continue up the mountain on the six-person Zephyr Express. At the top of the lift is Zephyr Lodge, a great place for lunch and soaking in the Sierra Nevada views. The front side offers access to several intermediate runs back down to the base area. However, we recommend taking the Mid-Mountain Comstock Express to the top of Mount Pluto. Here you have two choices, west or east. The west ridge rides down to Zephyr Lodge and feeds into several chutes and runs, which funnel back to Comstock Express. Or take the east ridge, where you catch a glimpse of sparkling Lake Tahoe in the distance, and drop into several chutes back to Comstock. Each ridge line offers hours of fun laps while you wait for the sun to warm up the snow on the backside. The backside has a few intermediate runs, but the majority is black diamond terrain. The runs are speedy, well-maintained, and more accurately intermediate slash advanced in difficulty. If the conditions permit and your visit coincides with a recent snowstorm, the tree skiing is prime with large, well-spaced pine trees. If you're into moguls, the rapids run tests your turning skills with bumps all the way down. Our pro tip is to explore the backside as soon as the sun moves to get fresh corduroy on the groomers before the crowds also move back there and ski it all off. At the top of Mount Pluto is the Summit Smokehouse with patio area. It's a good place to have lunch with fewer crowds and plan your afternoon. If there is a lot of snow, it's worth the long cat track or pommel lift over to Lookout Mountain. This area has one quad lift and advanced terrain with tree skiing options. We visited during a dry spell, so there's only one open run. Global warming is real, folks. It's February and it feels and looks like spring. There are lots of lines around North Star, but the one worth waiting for is toast. This El Fresco bar serves complimentary glasses of bubbly at 2 p.m. every day, including apple cider for kids. We recommend arriving and joining the line by 1.30 p.m. and don't forget your ID to ensure you can toast. At the end of the day, ride all the way back to the village and chill by the ice rink for family-friendly apres ski. 
There are complimentary s'mores at 4 p.m. or purchase a kit to make your own around the many fire pits. We recommend heading to nearby Truckee for dinner. That is, after waiting in one more long line to get on a crowded bus to get back to your car. Truckee is a laid-back ski town with shops and restaurants lining Donner Pass Road. We found the best burger at Truckee Tavern and Grill, best beer at 5050 Brewing, and the best morning brew at Pacific Crest Coffee. Although we visited North Star during a dry spell, six weeks of no new snow, the snowmaking and grooming kept most areas rideable, and the terrain park was awesome. Catch a midweek snowstorm with fewer crowds, and North Star is an excellent adventure. Thanks for riding with us today at North Star. We will see you at the next mountain. As long as you land it. <laughs> next one, you roll back up.